So there are a, a number of large clinical trials which suggest that there is something unique about younger premenopausal breast cancer patients in terms of their chemotherapy sensitivity or the benefit that they derive from adjuvant chemotherapy. So the Taylor Rx, the Rx Ponder, the Mindex studies all show that even with the relatively sort of indolent molecular features or, or a low um, sort of genomic risk, younger women derived benefit from the, the chemotherapy component. Um, whereas older women, the majority of the patients did not. So a similar result was actually shown earlier during the meeting with the adjuvant Everolimus study. It also showed that it was the younger women who benefited from the adjuvant Everolimus, the mTOR inhibitor, whereas the larger population, the postmenopausal women, didn't. So we asked the question, what's, is there any molecular difference between younger women and older women in terms of their, the, the molecular makeup of their ER-positive disease that could give some hints that why is there this sort of additional sensitivity to chemotherapy. And what we found is really quite uh, interesting and potentially provides a clue how to select patients for either chemotherapy or maybe more intense endocrine therapy in the future. So what we observed is that younger women had a higher immune presence in their microenvironment, in the tumor microenvironment. Uh, <clears throat> immune cells in the tumor microenvironment has consistently been associated with greater chemotherapy sensitivity. So one very simple mechanistic explanation for this is that maybe the chemotherapy injures the tumor cells and the immune cells in the microenvironment sort of finish off the job and, and eliminate cells which otherwise would not have died from the chemotherapy injury alone. So high immune presence is predictive of greater chemotherapy sensitivity in the new adjuvant setting. So we identified the, a subgroup of young women who have a really high immune presence. The other observation that we made was that younger women by and large have a lower ER um, sensitivity or endocrine sensitivity based on an ER signature or a transcriptional signature of, of ER activity. Um, and these two biomarkers actually are sort of exclusive. So there is a group among the younger women with very high immune presence and relatively modest ER sensitivity. And another group with a relatively sort of intermediate ER sensitivity, but <clears throat> low immune presence. And we think that the chemotherapy actually helps in a different way in these different groups. So younger women with a very high immune presence probably benefit from the cytotoxic effect directly, whereas younger women with a low immune presence and, and sort of intermediate endocrine sensitivity benefit from the, the, the uh, ovarian suppression function of the chemotherapy. So the bottom line is that in the future, we might be able to use an immune component, an immune signature component to, to triage a younger woman that you need chemotherapy versus just an intensified endocrine therapy with ovarian suppression.